Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're gonna be showing you how to maintain this steel BG86 leaf blower. So this is gonna be a yearly maintenance that you're gonna to wanna to do every year on this leaf blower to keep it running great, keep the engine in good shape, and it's pretty quick and easy to do. So first things first, we'll show you how to remove the air filter and reinstall that. So if you come along the back end of the leaf blower and you rotate this piece, this is gonna give you access to the filter itself. And I'm gonna put links in the video description on where you can pick up all of these parts. So there's the air filter. So I recommend replacing this every year. So you can see how it goes back in. I'll do it again. And then the cover goes back on just like this. Then you just turn this little dial till it, the housing clamps down. Okay, so that's how to replace the air filter. And then you don't necessarily need to replace the spark plug every year, but the kits that you buy that I'm gonna put a link on, they provide you with a spark plug. So you might as well change it out. So to get to the spark plug, you're just gonna lift up this little flap here and then just pull this little cover off and that's the spark plug cap and that gives you access to your spark plug. And then all you're gonna need on this is just a ratchet with a 5 8 spark plug socket. I'll put a link in the description on where you could pick up something very similar to this too if you don't already have one. But yeah, you need a 5 8 spark plug socket. And then all you're gonna do to remove it and then rotate this counterclockwise until it loosens. And then we should be able to loosen the rest by hand. I'll show you what the spark plug looks like. Okay, so there's the spark plug for it. And then to reinstall the spark plug, we're just gonna put it back in, rotate it clockwise. And these have pretty fine threads, pretty much all spark plugs. You wanna be careful when you're reinstalling it. You don't wanna cross thread this. So if it's going in with resistance, just back it out and put it back and reinstall it. Cause that's one thing you wanna avoid when you're putting these back in is cross threading. So then we're just gonna put our socket set on and then we're just gonna rotate this clockwise and we're just gonna pretty much give it not a crazy amount of force. We don't want it crazy tight. We don't want it, you know, we don't wanna do any damage or drive it in too far. Okay, then we just put the cover back on or to put the cap back on. And you could almost hear the cap kind of click down over the top of the spark plug. And then that's what it looks like when the cover is down and installed. Okay. And then the last thing we're gonna wanna do is take out and replace the fuel pickup body. And that's located inside the fuel tank. So this is best done when the fuel tank is empty. Um, if not, you could, you know, you could empty it manually. There's a little bit of fuel in here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. And all you're gonna need is a metal coat hanger. Okay, so we have our coat hanger here. This is just a piece of a coat hanger that I kind of snipped off, bent over into this hook. And this um, fuel pickup body is pretty much on the, it's pretty much back here in the tank. So you need to kind of, you could kind of see it if you move the cap out of the way, 
you could kind of see it back there on camera, but you want to pretty much put your hook in and then just fish it out. Just kind of move it until you get it. Sometimes you get lucky and get it quick. Move the cap out of the way. Let's see if I could snag it out. Oh. Okay, so there's the fuel pickup body right there. And then to remove this and reinstall it, it's just this little hose, you just literally pull it off. And then to reinstall it, you just kinda, you could hold it from this back end right here and then just push it in. And you just wanna make sure that that hose is seated all the way up on the actual fuel body. And then you can drop it back in and you want to replace that every year as well. That's what steel recommends doing. Tighten it back down. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the yearly maintenance that you're going to want to do. You could remove this cover um, and kind of clean it out. But that those three things, the air filter, the spark plug and the fuel uh, pickup body. Those are the three things that you really want to replace every year to keep this leaf blower running great. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to reach out in the comments. Otherwise, be sure to check the links in the description. Um, I'm gonna try to find a kit that has the fuel body, the spark plug, and this air filter. So you guys could just, you know, kind of do a one-stop shop, pick up everything at once. And yeah, just watch this video and do your, uh, do your maintenance and you'll be good for the year. So yeah, guys, be sure to like this video if it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other tool and DIY videos. And like I said, I have videos up on how to adjust the carburetor in this. And then I also have a video up on just the kind of the tool features of this, showing you everything around it. It was just going to be too long of a video to show you everything. So I broke that up to three different parts. So yeah, guys, be sure to check those out. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.